what happened with facts aka both hey his channel got banned because he be popping that real shit niggas ain't feeling that shit i ain't gonna cap but hey i'm all for it the feasy or both the facts nip brother if y'all don't know who he is go back to the early nipsey days you'll see him around real short in stature but why with that business you can see it all over his face all action everybody who know the man said the same thing about him he was fearless you feel me nip even immortalized him within one of his songs his last song <coughs> racks in the middle with roddy rick we heard that song but that's facts and we're gonna get into that later because nipsey Potner is the one who brought all this up Lil Raz A, someone that we have been speaking about very often here on hey before we go any further man long live nip now if you fuck with nip comment in the section man long live nip on the channel lately you know what i'm saying he brought up this Quando Rondo situation, even brought up Nip, but it was all centered around Big U, and we're gonna dive into it all. But first, we're gonna do some review. That way, we can reanalyze everything that was going on around this situation, and it can make sense for y'all completely. I can tie it all in together for y'all. You feel me? Remember, Big U was the main driving factor for everything. You feel me? Allegedly. But overall, Brick Baby was an important key component to this situation. Shout out Brick Baby too, man. Y'all go subscribe to his YouTube channel as well. Situation. He was the right hand man. <coughs> now he was tied into the fat situation due to some comments he made. Also tied into Nipsey's situation due to some comments he made. And if y'all remember the little pop situation, he was the main talking head as far as disrespecting that situation and disrespecting Quando Rondo. Cast and touched on that situation and put out this message to that man Quando Rondo right after Pop died. Hey, you claiming it? You ain't the right for this? Come on, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, like. Like, Quando Rondo. You know? Boy, boy stop. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Boy, explain? stop it. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't come to the 60s and want to provide now that, 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 bro, that boy, your you know what I'm saying? Like, like, you ain't doing that. Hey, I fucks with you, Brick. But you got, you be popping it way too much, bro. This shit niggas don't even need to know about. Yeah, at all. We not doing none of that. But it's gonna be weird for you because you go dark so much. It ain't weird for me. Yeah. It ain't weird for me at all. <laughs> you, know what I'm you know what I'm saying? You're not from rolling 60s. Right. You're not from LA rolling 60s. You're not from rolling 60s. Right. I'm the hood. We didn't make that call. You didn't, you, didn't, you didn't put that on the board like you finna make this play. I'm the hood. Did you? And if y'all remember back then, YB stepped up with Quando and said, wait till I start talking. But I wanted to refresh that to y'all memory to let y'all know about how Brick Baby felt about this situation before we get into what Lil Rise A had to say. I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all that. Now, Quando, he did stand his ground. He came back out, spoke up, and let it be known how he felt. Here is the insight to the entire situation. Now, I ain't gonna lie though, we can't, we ain't gonna get into this Quando shit. You feel me? It's on some cryptic shit. And like I said, congratulations to the successful things I have done with these young men and young women alike too. Come on, man. Who words shit like that? Who words shit like that? It's just celebration the fact that Gilly got set up by Big U because Big U called them and had them come out there and get that issue. Not to mention he exposed Meek Mill and Rick Ross are not liked by Big U, even though Big U tried to portray that image. He exposed the fact that Quando Rondo, yeah, that little issue was a backdoor through Big U allegedly. Let me say alleged because someone lost their life and we don't know this for sure. <coughs> and then he exposed the fact that Nipsey Hussle, well, of course, Loose Cannon exposed the fact that Nipsey Hussle was foreshadowed to be knocked off before he ever even got his life taken, which set off alarms for Loose Cannon. And it should. It should. Because that ain't something. Hey, shout out Loose Cannon, bro. He holding on some information. I ain't even finna say too much, but basically, he, a fucked, he gonna fuck the streets up. Watch. Something that should happen unless somebody's setting you up. And speaking of loose cannon, we all know he's been going at Big U. He put this out too. 
Okay, so so this this letter four fifth six or whatever, I was with Rose. Me and Rose was together. And of course, Lil Rose commented under that original live and said your fans think Rose a buster addressed that. And loose cannon, he said the lie detector test determined that was a lie. Clown and adds Rose, to which Rose comments on that again and says, dude is an idiot. He's going to be locked into those statements like Keefe D. This is why I can't let up. Straight up. Dude just lied on record on this man's name saying he was with Rose, and he wasn't. Now, Rose, he's been gassing Big U for quite some time. Hey, shout out <clears throat> Rose Visuals. Y'all go subscribe to his YouTube channel, too. He laying it on the table. Feel me? There's some deep shit going on. He, he got betrayed or something. Tom putting out all the stories from around their neighborhood and also talks about how Big U was jealous of that man Nipsey Hussle and was trying to stop his motion because he seen he had real motion. Now, why would he do this? He did it because Nipsey was his homie. He loved Nip and he's trying to clear up all the cap that been out there. I'm the one cleaning that up because I have a personal insight on that. I'm off the section. So I'm cleaning. Uh, he a big factor from over there, too. So if he going against the grain, then there's some shit going on in the air that niggas ain't. Outsiders, they not really paying attention to. Like, niggas got to really, like, pay attention to how this shit go. Like, the streets is over with. That shit over with, bro. I say that shit ended, like, 2015. It was a wrap. The game watered down, man. So all y'all kids out there just growing up and youngsters growing up, go to school, bro. The streets ain't it, my nigga. No cap, bro. Start you a YouTube channel, a Twitch, start gaming or something. Do something different, bro. Get into gaming computers and make that cheese, man. This shit not it. Not up. And he been clearing up a lot, exposing a lot when it came to Big U. Like how Big U was laughing when somebody commented justice for Nip. These men started cracking up laughing as if it was something funny. You don't know what you ain't know, nigga. You got to tell me Justice for them. <laughs> Damn, hey. Y'all humans like I'm a human, bro. That ain't no regular lie. Let's be honest. That's like a... Um, like, ain't no justice. Like, nigga, like, laughing at him like... <laughs> nigga, justice for Nip. Huh, okay. Pay attention, bro. These niggas landed on the table for y'all. All the Nip fans and shit. Pay attention, bro. The streets ain't it. Like, bro, what's funny about that? If that was your young homie, you had so much love for him. How could you even laugh at some shit like that? Dude is just a flat out snake. But that wasn't it. That wasn't all Lil Rod cleared up like I told y'all in the beginning. He laughing at Wack, Quando, and Nip. It's crazy. Get it. He cleared up the situation with both the fats. And who is both the fats? Both the fats is Steven, Giles, Don Nelson. And we'll get into who both the fats is deeper in a later video. I'm going to make y'all perfectly understand who this man was, what type of man he was, and everything I know about both the facts. He a stocky dude. Yeah, fuck some shit up. That ain't gonna be easy.
<laughs> now, rest in peace to him, though. You feel me? I don't know, bro, but rest in peace to him. Now, both the facts. He was killed back in 2017, and there was a lot of rumors circulating around his death. Nobody really knew for sure exactly who it was outside of their hood, but one thing everybody did know was that it was by a fellow Rolling 60 gang member. Now, we get some new information regarding this situation. And it's really deeper than we thought because Lil Rod coming out stating that allegedly Big U and them camp knows something about this issue and both the Fats alliance with Big U at this time is kind of what initiated his demise. You feel me? Because they already had ongoing conflict as we seen in his earlier videos. Y'all need to go check out his platform, man, because he giving out the gems as far as things that we wanted to know back then. Now, he stated that they had a little scrap session already over the fight, well, not fight, the rap pack that they tried to put on Nipsey Hussle. So, <clears throat> I don't know for all the people that have been following this, I'm fucking with Nip since back in the G, you know, because I'm a, I'm a local. So I was on Nip like 2008, 9, 2000, you feel me, nigga, I was hip to him already. So basically, they was trying to say that Nip got uh, packed out by Big U and niggas from 60s, and Black Sam came out busting in the air or whatever. Long story short, Black Sam got that paperwork, and he gave it to somebody and they putting it on the table for y'all go follow uh go subscribe to rise a visuals if you really want to get into that shit <clears throat> i guess the real story is nipsey put tips on big you bing 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 smack so and he turned after that too he was on big you for nip so him and, you, him and Nip was like this or something, you feel me? Or bro was trying to protect the ticket, you feel me? But cold world, man. Lonely and Nip and this man. No cap, niggas out here losing their lives, bro. Niggas out here homie on homie, bro. Tell me how y'all feel in the comment section. Let's finish this shit out real quick where Black Sam ended up busting in the air. Well, during the course of that, he said both the fats grabbed Big U and really started to go to work on him. So they already had prior issues. Well, I guess Big U tried to mend that when he had a bunch of trees and whatnot and tried to get real close to both the fats. Well, let me let Lil Rod Zay explain it. He can explain it better than I can. <laughs> Big U. <laughs> so how did you break the ice? Told you. You come with a deal they can't refuse. This was around the time Big U was coming across all that weed. Allegedly, sent the dude over there with an offer that both the fast couldn't refuse. Mm. It was nearly for free. Back then. The whole time. Back then, we was, that's when it was like 50, 55, 60 dollar apes and shit. 15 a gram, really 15 a gram. Real. The weed was potent to everybody because they wasn't used to that shit. So niggas was, you had like five, six, seven peas. He was that nigga around that time for sure. Uh, it was just to see the inner workings of what they had going on. To see their weaknesses, their strengths and their weaknesses. You know, like scoping the bank. That was the beginning of the end for both the facts. Because now this dude was able to dictate his movement and get up in his face under the guise of business partners. So they did a couple of little plays. He copped a little bit from them for the low here and there until this one mysterious day. He get a call. I got some more flight, bro. Come outside. Man, they had security, so both the fast in there and flip-flops and shorts. He come. He come outside. Lacking. <clears throat> nigga got him leases. He saucy man with the buds, huh? Look, I got this shit, man. When we gonna get this money? Saucy man got him. Uh, he know he need dough. 
So he like, it's easy. We playing with this shit. Rarity man, uh, caught him loafing. Looking both ways, looking for this dude. I'm like, where he at? He said he right here on the corner of West Boulevard and 59th. Dude still on the phone with him. Oh, you gotta walk to the corner. I'm right here on the corner. I parked over here. Dead homies. By the time he made it to that corner, he was ambushed. And that dude was the last one seen rolling off. Y'all go check that out on his platform. He said a lot in that. Rest in peace to that man. Facts. Both the facts. Now, there's one part that <clears throat> I didn't put in here that he said about Brick Baby. And this is where Brick Baby come back in. Because Brick Baby was arguing with Cowboy while on live and said something about facts and how he know Cowboy gonna snitch about that situation so he can't bring that up. Now, why would Brick Baby say something like that? It's wild, right? Weird, right? Especially after the... Watch what y'all say on this motherfucker, man. That shit'll come back and... <sighs> Bite you in the ass. 